Good morning this Monday the 13th of February. I'm Grady Ball for Market Analyst with Bell Direct. Well, the local market ended Friday's session down 0.76% as every sector aside from consumer staple stocks entered the day in the red, heavily weighed down by a sharp sell-off in technology stocks. The local market suffered its worst trading week since September last week, ending the week down 1.65%, weighed down by a sharp sell-off in real estate and tech stocks. The winning stocks from Friday's session were led by Imogene rallying 7.41%, while United Malt Group and John's Link Group each added 4.8% and 3.53% respectively. And on the losing end, New Hope Corporation tumbled 8.61% on the fall in the price of coal. News Corp and Capricorn Metals each fell 6.8% and 6.3% respectively. The most traded stocks by Bell Direct clients on Friday were Fortescue Metals Group, RF Fura Rare Earths and Beta Shares Geared Australian Equity Hedge Fund. Over in the US, Wall Street closed mixed on Friday as investor optimism faded on the back of comments made by Fed Chair Jerome Powell about inflation in the region starting to cool, but there's still being a long way to go in terms of rate hikes to cool inflation in the region to the target range. The Dow Jones rose 0.5% on Friday, while the S&P 500 rose 0.22%, but the tech-heavy Nasdaq fell 0.61%. Google parent company Alphabet shares fell more than 4% on Friday as investors grow increasingly concerned about the rising competition in the artificial intelligence space, especially from new market entrant ChatGP. And in Europe, markets closed lower on Friday as investors in the region also keep a close eye on US Fed movements and commentary around further rate hikes to come. UK preliminary fourth quarter GDP figures were also out on Friday, showing the UK economy expanded by 0.01%, now avoiding a recession. The FTSE 100 closed Friday's session 0.36% lower, while Germany's DAX lost 1.39% and the French CAC fell 0.82%. Ahead of the local trading session, the SPY futures are anticipating the ASX to open flat to start the new trading week. On the reporting season calendar for today, Beach Energy, Endeavour Group and JB Hi-Fi are all set to release first half results. Taking a look at commodities, crude oil is trading 2.13% higher at US$79.72 a barrel. Coal is down 3.33% at US$218 a tonne. Gold is up 0.21% at US$1,865 an ounce. And iron ore is up 0.4% at US$126 a tonne. The Australian dollar is buying 69 US cents, 90.96 Japanese yen, 57.3 British pence and 1 New Zealand dollar and 10 cents. And now let's dive into some trading ideas for your consideration today. Bell Potter has downgraded its price target on Grain Corp from $8.25 to $8, but maintains a hold rating on the company following the release of Grain Corp's recent harvest update ahead of the company's AGM. The recent update demonstrates receivables are lagging other large crop years, as well as spot Australian canola meal has moved from a premium to a discount compared to Canadian meal. And Trading Central has identified a bullish signal on Neo Metals following the formation of a pattern over a period of 71 days, which is roughly the same amount of time the share price may rise from the close of 87 cents to the range of $1.04 to $1.08, according to standard principles of technical analysis. And that's all we have time for today. Have a wonderful Monday and happy investing.